up y'all welcome back to my channel uh, if you're new here my name is Tiffany but all my friends call me TT <laughs> and uh, the whole point of my channel is to help you with your little ones natural hair because I know sometimes y'all I look at journey's hair that's my two-year-old and I don't be knowing what to do y'all I have to like go through YouTube videos and the internet and just research and I read a lot and in doing that I found quite a few methods um, and techniques I could use to kind of tame my kids natural hair so in today's video I'm gonna be talking about the lock method so the lock method has absolutely saved my hair and it saved the girls hair and um, a lot of you have been emailing me thank you so much for reaching out to me y'all that means the world to me and uh, quite a few of you have left comments asking you know what is that you keep saying lock method what is that so in today's video I'm gonna give you a very detailed explanation of what the lock method is all right so let's get into this off, video what is the lock method really it's just a short way of saying liquid oil and cream LOC lock method that's all it is it's a layering of a liquid or leave-in conditioner, an oil, or a cream. That's all it is. And um, I use the lock method every time I style the girl's hair or in my own hair, every time I do a wash and go. If their hair is in a protective style, usually they'll keep those one to two weeks before I take it down, depending on what it is. Um, and I usually just focus on the scalp. I, I deep condition and moisten, moisten, moisturize, <laughs> moisturize the hair um prior to putting it into the protective style and then when it's in the protective style i focus more so on the scalp um usually just uh scalp massages with different oils and things like that i always start with the lock method and the reason i use the lock method is because it offers the most moisture retention which in turn will promote healthy hair and healthy hair growth so that is why i use the lock method so some of the products I use um, to do this method are simple water and I use a leave-in. You don't have to use this one. Any leave-in will do, but I do use this one a lot. This is the Talia Wajid Tangles Out Today Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler. Um, and it has shea butter and coconut oils. It softens, detangles, repairs damage, breakage, um moisturizes and conditions and i bought this for 5.49 at my local beauty supply store you can also pick this up online if you live um uh, outside of the u.s uh and don't you know don't have access to a beauty supply but this was pretty pretty cheap here so i can definitely vouch for this 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 doesn't come it sounds liquidy and it's like a, a spray bottle but it actually comes out kind of thick so it, it feels like a conditioner, but it's a light conditioner. So this is my L in the lock method. These are my liquids. Then, then I apply an oil. So I typically will use a castor oil or virgin coconut oil. Now one of these is a carrier oil while the other one is a sealant. So how I determine the difference, because I know this just got real complicated when it didn't need to be. Okay, so think of it like this. Castor oil is thick. If you're getting it, and y'all, the label has rubbed all off of this, but this is 100% natural castor oil. So it's very thick. Um, it's kind of brownish, got a brown color, and it's very, very thick. It's almost sticky. So I wouldn't use this before my cream because the cream is just going to sit on top of this. So this is a sealing oil. So if, if you're going to use something thick like this, you're going to want to use your cream first. Okay. Coconut oil is a carrier oil. So this you would use before your cream. So sealing oils after your cream. So the LCO method and carrier oils you want to use before your cream so the actual lock method and after my oil I use a cream so there are several creams I just love uh, one of them is this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus 
Curling Buttercream with Slippery Elm and Marshmallow Extracts. It's an anti-frizz, body and shine, and it's for thick, wavy, unruly hair. Um, and I really like this. It's very light. Um, it smells really good. Um, and I use this on all four of my children, and all four of them have four different hair types, and it works on all four of them. So, and uh, Shea Moisture, I know that, you know, they've been a little controversial <laughs> in the past, but um, one thing I love about their products is that they're mostly organic and natural um, products. It, it doesn't have um, a lot of chemicals in it that some of the other cheaper brands have. So this was $10. So, you know, their products are a little more expensive, but I, I think it's worth it for the health of your hair. And side note, when I first went natural and my hair was extremely dry, not only did I do the lock method, but I also used only organic and DIY type creams and stuff on my hair. And my hair grew very fast in a short amount of time. So that's just a side note. So yeah, this is the cream. I also use the uh, Garnier Fructis Butter Cream. It's really inexpensive, but that stuff works. I don't know what's in it, but it works. I love it. I use it on my hair and the girl's hair. Several of you have asked me what are some products that I recommend for uh, the lock method. And I'm a little hesitant to give specific products that I recommend because some things that work for me and, and my girls may not work for you and your girls, you know, because the, or you and your kids, because the makeup of our hair is different. So what, what I'll say is if you're already using a cream that you love, but you want to do the lock method, just use the cream and the lock method and then just pair it with an oil that you like. Um, I will say my favorite oils are jojoba oil uh, because it most closely matches your natural sebum, hair sebum, or scalp sebum, hair sebum. It most closely matches our natural oils, I'll say that. And, um, Avocado oil is a great light oil, but highly moisturizing. I like olive oil. It's a thicker oil, so um, I typically will use my cream before um, my olive oil. Coconut oil, um, I really love it. It adds shine, and coconut is just all around coconut oil. All around, it's just good for you. It's good for you. I've heard coconut oil can do all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Um, help your teeth. It is good for your body, good for your hair, good for your scalp, good for your cuticles, all kind of stuff. Um, so those are some oils that I recommend. Avocado, coconut, olive oil, Do those are jojoba oil. Oh, and Jamaican black castor oil. But again, if you're gonna use a thick oil, use your oil last. I always put the cream before. And the reason I swear by the lock method is because when I first big chopped, uh, my own hair uh, it was about four years ago and I cut my hair to this short it was this short y'all and it was like a little nappy afro <laughs> and I have nothing against afros I think they're beautiful but mine was just dry and brittle and I was like oh god what did I do I should have just left my hair alone um and it was just dry and I couldn't keep moisture in it no matter how much I can deep conditioned it it just would get frizzy and it was just crazy. So I stumbled upon some videos on YouTube about the lock method. I think, I can't remember who it was. I'll, I'll try to remember. I know some of the first natural hair people I started watching on YouTube were the Glam Twins and uh, Chime and uh, Nap Natural 85. Yeah, those were the three. That, oh, and Mahogany Curls. Yeah, so those were the ones that I watched all the time and they really did help me nurture my hair. And I stumbled upon the lock method and y'all, my hair just started to thrive. It changed so much. I'm gonna input a before and after picture uh, probably somewhere in here. The products that I recommend uh, for your kids hair in which this will change because I'm slowly but surely just trying different things But there are a few go-to products that I always use or Brands that I always go to one of those is Shea Moisture um, Yeah, say what you want about them, but I do love 
their kids line and the adult line and it's okay if if you already buy um the products that don't say kids for your hair use that on your kids because um this is very close this um butter curling buttercream is very close to the um curl enhancing smoothie it smells the same and it's only like one or two ingredients that are different you know so the adult products won't hurt your child's hair it will not i promise it won't um, another line will be the Talia Wajid Kids. Um, I highly recommend them. I love the Style and Shine Cream. Um, however, however, I must tell y'all, I've noticed some flakes in the girl's hair, and I think it might be that Style and Shine Cream. The Style and Shine Cream on its own works great, but I think it's something I'm mixing it with. But I'm noticing flakes in both the girl's hair, and I'm like, ooh. I don't know it's probably something i'm mixing with it but it, it's a great line of products and you can do the you can do the whole lock method with that one line with shea moisture they have oils creams and leave-ins talia wajig kids has the same thing aunt jackie's is another uh brand that i recommend Aunt jackie's girls you know so just find something you like if there's a cream that you're already using um that you love just use it or an oil that you like just pair that with the cream that you like it doesn't have to come from the same line um also for those of you who who are not down with buying a million products i'm, I'm really not i get packages and stuff in my um p.o box uh so i i try a lot of stuff out but if, if you don't want to buy all them products just get use water one oil and one cream I mean, that's really all you need. That's really two products, two products. Just an oil and a cream that you like. And um, yeah, boom, you got the lock method. Now I do also use, side note. Now, some of you may not understand why I still use this product, but it works. I don't know why we shied away from it. I might even do a whole video on this because I get asked all the time, not so much on this channel, but uh, people who know me, uh, when they ask me, they'll see the girl's hair and they're like, what do you put in your hair? And I'll, you know, go through a line of products that I use. And I mentioned th this product and they're like, girl, why are you still putting grease in your child's hair? And I'm like, it works. It works. It keeps the flyaways away. It, um kind of seals that moisture in. My kid's hair, it stays moisturized for days when I use just regular old hair grease. I mean, I prefer this brand, the Blue Magic uh, Super Sure Grow and also the Blue Magic Organics Castor Oil. Those are my favorite. Um, I don't use any other grease. Uh, those two are my favorite, but it works. I don't know why we stopped using it. I don't know, to each his own. But uh, this Blue Magic Originals, it's made with shea butter, jojoba oil, and Japanese green tea leaves. And it's for natural styles hair, and it's a hair and scalp conditioner. And it um, claims that it will um, provide less breakage. So, um, and I think why a lot of people have steered away from hair grease is because it's basically petroleum, which is like, um, it's a cheap oil. It's like Vaseline. It's like putting Vaseline in your hair. They just mix some other stuff in there. But the thing is, it works. So I use it, okay? So I don't know, give it, try, try it, try it. Um, I will say when you put it, when you put hair grease in your child's hair, um, it is heavy and it is gonna feel a little sticky, but give it um, a while and the hair will eventually soften up and it'll be shiny and soft and all of that. But anyway, but you don't have to use this. I don't use hair grease in my own hair um, because my hair is just very fine and it just looks crazy when it's weighed down like that. But I definitely use this on the girl's hair. Like if your girls are wearing ponytails and braids and twists and stuff like that, this can really, really help with those flyaways. All right, y'all. I think I have answered all of your questions. I pray this video was not all over the place because y'all know I be rambling I'll be trying not to ramble, y'all. I don't know. Anyway, it's something about talking to the camera. I don't know. I just I just started talking about everything. But I hope I've answered all of your questions. If I didn't, just leave your questions down in the comment section. And please subscribe. 
please like this video. Keep emailing me. Keep commenting because um, it lets me know that I'm giving you content that you want to see. And if you want to see new content or, you know, see something different on my channel, let me know. And I'll, I'll think about doing it. Um, and let me know if you want more informational type me talking to the camera videos because I know a lot of you came here for the styles. And um, that's great. You know, initially that's what I was doing was just styles, but I don't want to neglect the importance of health. The health of the hair matters. It You can make pretty styles all day long, but eventually that if the hair is not healthy, it's going to break off. You're not going to see growth. It's going to be brittle. You're going to see patches and all kind of stuff. So you want to make sure that the hair is healthy, healthy enough, um, especially for some of the more... Um, tight styles or like the individual braids and stuff that I did on Maya's hair, you have to make sure that the hair is healthy enough to, to handle that amount of tension. So it's important to make sure the hair is moisturized and conditioned and healthy, excuse me, and healthy in order for the hair to thrive and grow. And then we'll do, you know, then we can do the, the styles and the twists and all of that kind of stuff but I just want to come on here and let y'all know that the health of the hair is most important so that was the point of this video if you want more videos like this please give me a like please subscribe and until next time peace and hair grease <laughs>